What up folks and welcome back to Wolf Monsters. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a figure eight knot and when you're going to want to use that knot is not necessarily when you have your braid or your smaller low pound test but it's when you got your big guy stuff like this. The figure eight knot is great for that. So what am I first going to do? I'm going to show you how to tie it then come back in the shop and I'll tell you when to use the figure eight knot over the uni knot. And so yeah, let's just tie this thing. Alright, so let's tie this quite thing. Two quick disclaimers. Today I'm actually going to be using this 80 pound braid. I've done this like three different times and the monofilament line is not showing up very well on camera. So I'm doing this for demonstration purposes only. You're generally going to use this line or this knot for line that is bigger than a hundred pound test. Second disclaimer is this is apparently not a figure eight knot, which I've been calling it that way for years. So if you know what it's actually called, leave me a comment below. A buddy of mine, fishing buddy, just said, Wolf, that's not it. I don't know what it's called either. So let me know. So anyways, let's tie this thing. First, what you're gonna do is take your line, run it through your eyelet, pull about eight inches off. Then what you're gonna do in your right hand, pinch both lines together, and you're gonna take your tag in and simply just wrap it around your finger three times. So you go around once, pinch with your thumb. Go around one more time, pinch with your thumb, and then the third time, pinch with your thumb. And what you'll see is this has formed this loop down here. Now, slide that loop off your finger while still holding it all together. And then what you're gonna do is take your tag in and simply come back through that loop that you have formed. There you go. Now grab your main line, your tagging line, and your hook. Start pulling them all the opposite directions of each other. Now drop your tag in, pull on your main line until it comes all the way down to the eyelet. Give your tagging line one more good pull, and now you have a solid knot. Last thing you want to do here is go ahead and cut off your tag end, which Little Wolf has hidden my actual clipper. So yes, I am using really crappy yard clippers. And then there's your knot. That is a great knot for your heavy 100 pound plus monofilament lines. So yeah, that's a very easy knot to tie. And the time that you're gonna wanna tie this is for any time that you're using your thicker braid test or any of your higher things over a hundred pound test. So generally you're gonna use this when you're bottom fishing for the big guys like swordfish or just anything, any of your larger fish out there. And the reason you're gonna use this is you'll find tying when it's this thick, it's hard to tie any of your uni hook knots or any of, you could do a snail hook knot, but you're gonna find that this knot here is gonna be a lot easier to tie and it'll cinch up for your bigger braid test. Now uni hook knot, I still like using that uh, when I'm using anything in the 25 or 30 pound range. Here's a link right here that you can look at um, if you wanna see how to tie that. That's what I'm gonna use for most of my bottom fishing or in for shore fishing. But when you're going for the big guys and you have this big braid test right here and you forgot your crimpers or you were trolling, you're like, hey, let's just go do some bottom fishing and all you have is your big heavy line, I would suggest this knot. So, hope you guys are doing great out there. If you can, tell somebody you love them. We all need it in December time frame. And if you thought this video was good, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, which I would like to see you, hit that subscribe button. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace. Has anyone else's wife started playing Christmas music in November? This is how I feel about it.